Oh, sorry. You caught me relaxing and it's weed season. There's no time to be relaxing. Uh, we have got a problem with weeds at the old ranch. They say a weed is any plant that's growing where you don't want it. Well, that really does symbolize a lot of plants in my garden. Now, the best way to keep those weeds from popping up, you'll hear me use this word a lot, compost. Now, compost is a nice soil additive, but it can also be a mulch. If you use a lot of mulch in your garden, the sunlight can't get down there, the weed seeds can't germinate, and they can't pop up. There are other mulches as well, bark works, to keep that same sunlight from reaching the seeds. But you can make both of these things work much better by using a little newspaper. Put newspaper down in your garden, cover it with mulch to where you don't see it at all. It breaks down slowly, it feeds the earthworms, and it keeps the weeds from coming up. Another word about that daylight and weed seeds. I know people who will actually go out and till their gardens in the dark of a new moon so that the seeds don't ever get that flash of light that it takes to start the germination process. I don't know about you, but during the dark of a new moon, I would much rather be inside sleeping. How do we get rid of all the weeds? Well, there's several ways to do it other than mulch, too. You can plant them out. Just plant every square inch of your garden with ground covers and bedding plants and don't give the weeds any space to grow. You can buy commercial things like this weed barrier cloth. Like the newspaper, it goes under the mulch, but the newspaper works a lot better because it breaks down into your garden and actually feeds the earthworms. How about eating your weeds out? Several of the things that we consider weeds are actually very healthy foods. Weeds like purslane or dandelions, um, but, but, but even some of the grasses are edible. But before you go munching on anything from your garden, make sure you know what it is and have an expert tell you what it is so that you don't poison yourself because there are some plants that are obviously poisonous as well. There's also a process called solarization. Now this is if you have a lot of weeds and a major change coming to your yard to where you don't mind spending the time to do this. Take clear plastic, we want the sun to beat down through it, and cover the area that you want to block out the weeds. Put heavy rocks along the edges and let the sun beat down there. In the summertime, three weeks minimum. In the wintertime, if you don't have a snow cover, two to three months is more like it. If you've got snow over it, it's not going to be working at all. Now, once you take this plastic up, if you go in and till the soil, well, you've defeated what you've planned because the weed seeds will get that flash of sunlight and they'll start to grow again. But if you want to double solarize, after you take up the plastic, go in and till the soil. That will bring the latest bunch of seeds to the surface, solarize again, and that will kill those additional seeds. There is a rule having to do with weed seeds. If you allow a plant or a weed to go to seed, it will put out enough seeds for seven years of more weeds. So pick those weeds before they go to seed. The best time to do it is after rain falls when the ground is nice and moist and you can just go in there and yank them out. Also, don't spray herbicides. Those are just poisons that kill grasses and, and plants instead of bugs. They're still poison and they're still bad for the environment and bad for your health. Instead, my favorite weed killer, straight vinegar. Put it into a spray bottle, spray the weeds, and it will kill them. Some weeds may take a couple of applications. It burns them out. And it doesn't work as well on grassy weeds as it does on the broadleaf weeds. It burns these up within just a couple of days. Again, straight vinegar. Got cracks in your driveway with weeds? Straight vinegar will take care of them. We spend way too much time weeding and not enough time gardening. With the help of some of this, maybe we can change that whole ratio.